lesson 2-2. Today we're going to be talking about comparing and ordering integers. So basically we're going to be looking at positive and negative numbers. We're going to be telling, okay, which one's bigger, which one's smaller, and we're going to be able to put them in order from least to greatest, greatest to least, and stuff like that. So the first thing I want us to talk about are the comparing symbols. So if I'm saying that this number is greater than this number, or this number is less than this number, or this number is equal to this number, what symbols am I using? Okay, so this symbol, when the um, sign is opened almost to the left, this is greater than, because it says that this number over here is bigger than this number over here. Um, you can think of it as if this is some kind of person or animal mouth that is open, and they want to eat the bigger number. So they want more food, you know, so they eat the bigger number. So you can think of it as this one is, this number is greater than this number. If you put this symbol, the symbol that looks like this and it's kind of open to the right, this is the less than symbol because it's saying that this number over here to the left is smaller than this number over here to the right. And this last symbol that you guys are very familiar with is the equal to symbol. So anytime the numbers are the same, so 2 is equal to 2, 3 is equal to 3, 500 is equal to 500. So that's when you would use that equal sign. Alright, let's look at these few um, pairs of numbers. So we have 2 and 4, 1 and 0, negative 1 and negative 6, negative 2 and negative 2. Now we are going to use our knowledge of numbers, these symbols, and the number lines to figure out which one's greater than, which one's less than, which one's equal to. So let's go ahead and we're going to mark um, find the coordinate point. So anytime I'm saying find the coordinate 2 on the number line, you go ahead and find 2 and you'll put a point there. So here's 2 and let's go ahead and find where 4 is. Okay, now when you're looking at a number line, when you look from left to right, the farther right you go, the bigger the number is. So if you march two points on the number line like this, the one that is to the right, so 4, is going to be bigger. So we want to make sure that our symbol is going to be opened up towards the bigger number. So our symbol is going to be opened up to the 4 because it's the bigger number. And you would read this sentence as 2 is less than 4 because this is the less than symbol. Alright, let's do another example. Um, we have 1 and 0 in this example. Let's go ahead and find the coordinate point 1 on the number line. Um, so let's go ahead and find 1 here. And let's go ahead and find 0, which is right here. So like I said just a second ago, when you're looking at a number line, the further the number is to the right, the bigger it is. So in this case, our 1 is bigger than 0. So you want to make the symbol open to the bigger number, which is 1. So this sentence reads, 1 is greater than 0, because this symbol is the greater than symbol. Alright, let's go ahead and do another example. Let's find negative 1, the coordinate point, and negative 6. So let's go ahead and find the points on the number line. So negative 1 is right here, and negative 6 is right here. Alright, like I said, the number that's on the right is going to be the bigger one because as we move from left to right, as we read left to right, the bigger the numbers get. So in this case, negative 1 is bigger than negative 6. So let's go ahead and write the symbol. The, make sure it's open to the bigger number. So this sentence reads, negative 1 is greater than negative 6. Now it's interesting because when you think about negative numbers, um, it's almost like you would usually think that negative 6 probably will be bigger than 1 because 6 is bigger than 1. But it's opposite when we come go to negative numbers. So negative 1 is bigger to negative 6 because it's closer to 0. Alright, let's do one more example. We have negative 2 and negative 2, so let's go ahead and mark negative 2 on the graph. And let's go ahead and mark negative 2 on the graph. Since the point is in the same spot, it is equal to. Alright, let's go ahead and do some more examples. Alright, let's look at our first example. Our first example, we're given two integers. We're given negative 4 and negative 6. Now what we need to do is use our symbols greater than, less than, and equal to to compare these two numbers. So let's think about it. When it comes to two negative numbers, the number that gets closest to zero is going to be the biggest number. So which one's closer to zero, negative four or negative six? 
negative 4 is closer to 0, so negative 4 is going to be bigger. And just like I said a second ago how um, kind of no, uh, negative numbers are kind of flipped around what we would usually think about, usually we would think that 6 is bigger than 4, but since they're negative, it's the opposite. So negative 4 is bigger to negative, than negative 6 because it's closer to 0. So we want to make this symbol open up towards negative 4 so that our symbol reads negative 4 is greater than negative 6. All right, example number two, we have zero and negative 10. All right, which one is the biggest number? So think about it, picture in your mind the number line. Which one is furthest to the right? So usually on your number line, you have your zero, and you have negative 10 over here, and then zero is in the middle. So obviously near zero, since it's the neutral number, and this is a negative number, it's going to be bigger. So you want to draw this symbol so that it reads zero is greater than negative 10. All right, let's go ahead and look at number three. Now this time, we are going to be putting numbers in order. So we're going to have to use the knowledge that we talked about. We're going to have to figure out, okay, this number is bigger than this number, this one's number is smaller than this one, so we can go ahead and put them in the right order. So here's a bunch of random numbers. We have negative 13, 9, negative 2, 0, and 4. And they want us to list them from the smallest number to the biggest numbers. So in my head, I'm thinking, okay, least... So the smallest numbers, they have to be all the negatives because the negatives are smaller than positive numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and look at my negatives first. So I have negative 13 and negative 2. Now which one is the smallest? I know that negative 13 is smaller than negative 2 because negative 2 is closer to 0. So I'm going to go ahead and put my answer over here. Our answer, I'm going to put negative 13 is the smallest number. Then I'm going to go ahead and put negative 2 is the next smallest number because those are the only two negatives. So now let's go ahead and look at 9, 2, and f or 0, and 4. So automatically we know, just because we've seen positive numbers so much, that 0 is the smallest, and then 4, and then 9. So all these numbers are put in order from least to greatest. All right, let's look at a, um, a word problem and see if we can figure it out. It says the lowest temperatures for Hawaii, Illinois, Minnesota and South Carolina are listed. Which is listed from coldest to warmest? Okay, if we're thinking about numbers, if you think of a thermometer, the colder the number gets, um, if whenever you get into the negatives, that's going to be um, the coldest. So if you hear negative 3 below 0, we know that that's really cold. And if we hear negative 10 below 0, we know that that's even colder. So let's go ahead and put our numbers in order from coldest to warmest or least to greatest. All right, let's go ahead and look at this first one. Negative 19, negative 36, 60, and 12. Are those in order from least to greatest? Well, right now I can tell you it's not because 60 is warmer, 60 degrees is warmer than 12 degrees. So I know that this is not my answer. So using process of elimination. Okay, let's look at answer choice B. Is this one right? We have 12, negative 19, Right there, I know I can stop because they have negative 12 to the left of a um, negative number. Or So if our positive 12 is to the left of a negative number, we know that that's not true because we know that all positive numbers are bigger than negative numbers. So we got to eliminate that one pretty quick. Let's go ahead and look at answer choice C. Are these in order from least to greatest or coldest to warmest? We have negative 60, that's pretty low. We have negative 36, okay, that's a little warmer negative 19, and 12. So I would say that those are in order because the, um, the further along we go, the warmer the temperature is. So I would say that C is the correct answer. Let's go ahead and look at D just to make sure to see if we didn't mess up something. Okay, we have negative 60, 19, negative 19, 12, and negative 36. Oh, well I can tell it's not true because they have a positive number in between two negative numbers, which is no order at all. All right, so make sure that you have your notes completed for tomorrow, that um, you have looked back through your book if you have questions, try to look at more examples to see if you can figure it out. If you have questions, come with them tomorrow, but let's go ahead and do a few problems on your own and see if you can get it for tomorrow. Alright, you have four practice problems to do for tomorrow. Go ahead and try to do them by yourself and see if you can get them. Okay, number one, you have five, and you have a blank, and then you have negative one. 
So you need to put in the correct symbol. Is it the greater than symbol, less than, or equal to symbol? Number two, do the same thing, and number three, do the same thing. So put the correct symbol, the greater than, less than, or equal to symbol. Okay, number four says order the numbers from least to greatest. So you have the numbers five, two, negative three, zero, and negative one. Go ahead and put them in order from least to greatest or from smallest to biggest. All right, we'll see what you get tomorrow. Good luck.